synthetic benchmarks. The Motorola Moto X Play is part of the middle tier of Motorola's 2015 lineup. As most such phones this year it means a Snapdragon 615 chipset. It features a dual quad-core CPU with the one cluster of Cortex-A53 cores clocked at up to 1.65 GHz, the other at 1.11 GHz Adrio 405 is in charge of graphics and there's 2 GB of RAM on board. The CPU parts of the benchmark see the Moto X Play post some better numbers. In single-core performance it's tied with the Apo somewhat behind the self-i-obsessed Xperia's. The Galaxy A7 trails here too. All eight cores thrown into battle, the Moto X Play climbs higher, but differences between the S615 devices are minimal. The Zepho 2 with just four cores is understandably weaker in this test. There's a very obvious divide between the various chipsets in the results of GFX Bench. The Moto X Play is in the lower tier with the rest of the S615S and amongst them it's decidedly average. The Zepho 2, Maiju MX5, with a different power VR GPU, and Moto X Pure Forward Slash Style, Adrio 418, occupy the middle ground, and the S810 with the Adrio 430 is on top. Oddly. The ZUK Z1 with the older Gen S801 and Adrio 330 rules the intense Manhattan benchmark. The Kraken 1.1 benchmark examines JavaScript performance and the Moto X Play does OK. It's on par with the Galaxy A7, but also the same as the Moto G, 3rd Gen, which has an inferior chipset. It's not so much about the so see this one though since the Al-KT Lidl 3 does a substantially worse job, despite rocking a Snapdragon 615 ship itself. Compound Web Browsing Benchmark Browser Mark 2.1 puts the Moto X Play on par with the Zepho 2. The Galaxy A7 flies the S615 flag in this test, where the otherwise strong Apo R7 Plus Uda delivers. The Xperias are clearly not liking either of the browsing tests. With a Snapdragon 808 inside, the Moto X Pure Forward Slash style is, of course the more powerful proposition, but within its price range the Moto X Play does the job quite well.